Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Create Arcane Engineering, brought to you by our lovely server hosting, sponsor hosting the server that we're hosting on, Apex Hosting. If you use our codes in the link of the description of the stream of the YouTube video, you can grab 25% off your first month of your own server. Maybe play some Arcane Engineering yourself, or play vanilla Minecraft with a friend, or whatever floats your goat. Thanks to them for sponsoring, and how's it going? Doing all right, just just looking, looking at, at cogs. Yep, just he can't get enough of them. Some What's great the cogs in there? that I'm missing here? Uh, just I just inverted the uh, the redstone signal for the whole uh, situation with the Hephaestus Forge, and I tested it. It is actually working, and um, let's go. The only thing that I had to do, which is why there are more cogs seemingly now is I needed to wire up the inverter on the outside, which previously was... You keep, you do this and you try I, to put I, down I, blocks that are like not gonna break anything. things, but you do eventually put down something that breaks things. And then we're like, God damn it. What are you doing? Stop breaking things because you yes. unintentionally put it down in a place that it breaks things. If there's one thing I'm known for, it's breaking your things. You kind of have before. I mean, the oh, one yeah. time, and then I apologize, but no, you can keep bringing it up. It's cool. Um, but anyway, uh, so yeah, it works now that I have inverted because what happens is instead of trying to populate each of these pedestals at the begin, like once the ritual initiates, it populates them after the ritual completes, and then it works, which is great. So as soon as we get the other ingredients, the netherite and the stellas coming in. Um, it should be automating. Not very fast, but automating. That's, That's exciting. That's cool. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I mean, not uh, very fast doesn't really matter when the server's up, or, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Speaking of, um, things not really mattering if they're going slowly, I now have mm. 2,100 wither skeleton skulls because the server keeps going. Sure. Oh. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Pretty cool. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Um, I need some red. Oh, there's a pop. How lucky is that? Some of the color red. Just, just, just some, some red dye. More specific to be more accurate. Um, red dye. Um, and then so I do this, and then I do this. So what I do need to do today is I need to get um, two more netherites because I need three unbreakable swords because I did testing in between episodes as well on how uh -huh. to make a wither killer. Um, okay. A willer, if you will. Yes. And it is uh, interesting. And only one potential problem that probably has really annoying inconvenient solutions, but it would just be better if it worked. But um, I will have to just manually reset it every now and again. <sighs> What's the problem? So basically, in order for a wither to spawn, one of the blocks needs to get placed down asynchronously to all the others. If all of the blocks of a wither get put down simultaneously, a la synced up deployers with or no spawn if uh -huh. all ex if six of the seven blocks get placed and then the seventh comes in and it gets placed with or spawn cool the weird thing is so in my little test world i basically had uh a each deployer like row was separated so there's top row deployers top row three bottom row three bottom row one and then a row of swords underneath anyway i had them all on their own uh, um, you know, shafts, if they were synced up, wouldn't work. If I desync them, so, you know, the top row places before or after the bottom, it works until, for some reason, despite the fact that I have them on the same sequence gear shifts running one turn every time they're activated, they will find a way to sync back up again. <laughs> they shouldn't, but they do. And then the thing no spawn. So... All I can do is add more desync and like different timing for all of them, but eventually they're gonna find a way to sync up, and I don't know how to solve that. We got some real like problem solving content recently. There's always some like 
absolutely bizarre, weird thing that shouldn't happen or that you would never consider that goes into all these contraptions. Couldn't you might just have, to have start the, the last deployer only deploy if the uh, uh, block exists on the on one of the one of the ones that has the problem is that drift? all of these blocks are encased in witherproof glass, so there's no way to read out a signal because there's witherproof glass separating the block from everything else. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's mm. it's a it's a tricky one. It's a tricky one. Is it? You can come up and see how it all do be once I, I get I things cranky. Every time I try and help, you get mad. No, because so it's doing, you, it, it, I'm just there's a difference thing. between conceptual feedback versus please 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 please. please. <laughs> yeah. What the frick? Have some light. That was that was lit, fam. Um. Well, if you look at chapter three, it expanded. Oh, did you get like the aftermath stuff? I don't know what you mean by aftermath, but I gotta the, I gotta go check it. Holy the bio diesel and LPG. Um, chapter the... three. Oh, oh yeah, it's the it's the like chapter three B kind of deal. Your your radiance mechanisms are available over here. That is you legendary. Them? I didn't realize the plastic mechanism is a it's a subsection. I thought that was the final destination of chapter four. Oh dear. What does chapter four look? Oh. I looked at chapter four for a second. <laughs> Uh, oh my god. Oh. I. This should be fine. ECBs. This should be fine. It actually. It Zane. doesn't look that bad, what? right? What are you mad about at me for now? No, no, no. I was going to say that there is a chance M4 will be done, and then we can all come together on, on Tech 5 or Tech 4 and, like, really help each other out. I look forward to that day. Yeah. Co collaborative collaboration is my middle name. X3 collaborative <laughs> threen. Yep. Three. I didn't say I didn't say it's in the middle of my name. I said it's my middle name. Those are two different things. I thought your first name was X3 and then your last well, name was Threen. Well, it just goes to show that this this far in and you still don't know or care who I am. I understand. Sorry, God, guys. the tension I'm, today. I'm... What happened between you two? <laughs> the, um, everything is fine. Everything is fine. Okay, all right. Don't tell it's me. It's fine. Right. Tell me when I'm older. I guess I don't know. Yeah, when, when, cool. maybe when maybe when you're a little bit older. Um, I gotta figure out how to make bio moths. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. And nice. Veg and vegetable oil, apparently. Or let's see, which one do I? What's the button to? Okay, I just wanted to make sure I knew what button it stops it from going. Okay, I need to go. You know what? It's time to put my uh, eternal pickaxe to use to get some more debris. Um. Okay. Yeah. Oh, and I need another. I've, I've gotten a fair. I've gotten a fair bit of debris, and Bertha's pretty wide, but it all depends on how fast you can. Oh. Ha um, wait, are you? Is there stuff in Bertha, or you, it, it's all been put in the system? No, it's all been in the system. Oh, okay. But yeah, I have. I had to test with one. Oh, there is. Um, there is two. There, there are two. Oh, there's two. Figures. Actually, that might be enough. So I might just need Where? to get a uh, Stella at the moment. Um, here, here uh, there she be. Sweet. Thank you. And then I also have a spare Nether Star in there if you need the Stella. If you may need to make uh, a. Oh, like with the yeet Still mechanism. Right. Um, yeah. Sure, I could do that. I mean, you don't have to. I'm just. I'm just no, that's actually. Helpful. I just. I have not done that before. It'll be interesting to get a pre look of what I'm gonna have to do after I do the wither thing. This seems to not be working properly. What the heck happened here? Um. What happened? An interesting question, one I'm not entirely sure of. Sorry to hear that. 
Yep, me too. Why did we lose our bootstrap? Okay, one one chunk is down. Man, this is a climb and a half. It takes a minute. Yeah, it's a it's a bit of a it's a bit of a haul up. Maybe um, maybe you should build a beacon on top of the conundrum. Oh, doesn't it does it work with beacons as well? I forget. If it works with beacons, then it's uh, pretty easy to do. What do you to mean? Do. To instead of no, they it, it's not just thrown. No, beacons. this is for flights. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. I got you. Um. So. Uh, Pete, does it work below the level of the beacon? So like, if I built a beacon above the conundrum. Then it would extend above and below. Mm, should yeah. Okay. It's it has the same range. Like I can fly most of the way down the elevator shaft, and then I get uh, just low enough to where I fall to my death. Okay. Yeah. Elevator. This is um. Maybe I should have just done this the smart way, which would have been to do it this way. Doing things the smart way is ideal. All right. What have we here that seems to have borkened? Huh. Fancy that, huh? God, that is way... I've got a... That is going to be quite the... Uh, quite the relay. Quite the relay. I am gonna have to do some pretty wild baton passing with the uh, immersive, or sorry, the sophisticated storage chest. We do a lot of soul sand though, which is pretty good. Um, okay, so here's what we gotta do. Guys, watch this, watch, watch this. Actually, it's gonna be better if I turn on particles just so you can watch it go. We'll go all particles just for a moment. <sighs> As you can see, this is why I keep the particles off. Conundrum was an interesting choice, but we're stuck with it now. Um, okay, so we go here, and then watch when we uh, bang the gavel. Oh, also, a uh, couple stacks from last time. I have another couple stacks in the thing. Okay, but here we go. Kablamo. And then, I don't know what block would have to be time in a bottle for this. If we do the center, it doesn't do anything. Maybe we'd have to do every single pedestal plus the center. It just doesn't seem worth investing. So we just wait. But at the end, at the end, all of the deployers will deploy. As you'll notice, they have not done their deploying yet, which confused me greatly. At first, when I started, I was like, God dang it, it hasn't worked. <laughs> and then at the end, I'm like, oh, it went. Let's freaking go. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Takes a moment. Takes a gosh darn moment, don't it do? Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait, freaking wait for it. Yes, come on. Come on, buddy. Let's do it. Let's do it. Here we go. Here we go. You're almost there. You're working so hard. You're working so good, so hard. It's You're doing a good... Jiminy Christmas is so slow. There it is. And you saw them all fire, and then another one gets added. Another one bites the dust, and we yoink that out. We're going to have to figure out how to retrieve from that... It's gonna be another fun thing to experiment with. There is, that's a bug. It still retains whatever was in there previously until you put something new in. I don't know why, it just is that way. Um, and then we got a kablammo. Okay, so while we're waiting on that one, let's go grab the other witherproof glass. <laughs> Four stacks should be enough. And thank goodness we saw the induction smelter recipe because holy frick, if we did not, I would have been making the little signal alien things for, 10 years. Um, also, see, look, 64 allium in here. It turns out the limiting factor, actually the ghost goo, not the flowers. We are actually generating more flowers. So uh, yeah, but Jiminy Christmas, look at this, dude. Look at that, 2.2. We just get wither skulls for days. Holy frick, holy frick. And if I ever, I don't even like, I was thinking, oh, we could pass bone meal into here, or make another Fido when I got on, I was like, oh. Nope, we're, we're good. We, we're good. Everything's full. You got enough. Um, meanwhile, we are still waiting over here for, sh for stoof. Still waiting. 
Still waiting. I guess, you know what I could do is... Oh, there we go. Sick. Big plays. All right, so we need to make three unbreakable uh, Smite 5 netherite swords. Well, it doesn't have to be netherite. I think it's just better if it is, though. More damage. So, you know what? On second thought, I actually do need to get more netherite. God dang it! I am going to have to still get netherite because I forgot that I need to make the um, swords be netherite on top of the Stellas themselves. So much netherite is on total. Mm. Three. Well, three bars. Uh, so, 12 debris. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I can't fly here. Where was, uh, where's the thing? It was over here, right? Yeah. Pete, how is the amethysting coming along? Pretty good. I'm routing the shafts over to it to try and get the crushing power over. Nice. I'm not happy about what I'm needing to do, but <laughs> it's for the greater good, I guess. It really is, and I respect yeah. that. Yeah. Might need to tell me that a few more times just to I respect make sure I'm your okay. I respect your choices of awesomeness. Alright. Uh, oh god, this, this is awesome to you? Step up would be pretty cool right now. Okay, that's a lava lake. Jiminy Christmas. Come on. Oh, your first crushing wheels. Nice. My first crushing wheel. How exciting. Mm-hmm. I don't know if this is going to like out me like that, but that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> There's no need to be shy about it. Uh, Everyone's first time at some point. Right, right. It's a little late for my first time, but I don't know. To be a late bloomer? I guess so. Wait, I missed Debris? Where did I miss Debris? Um, by the way, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, uh, turn on notifications, all that good stuff. Oh, there it is. I found my first Debris. Nice. So what, what's the method you're doing for finding them? Are you just mining for it, or...? I am using my um, super duper vein mineage uh, on the unbreakable pickaxe. Mm, of course. Of course. The optimal efficient mechanism. Other than the part where sometimes the ground becomes uneven and then it's a little annoying, but besides that. Um, so... For your oh wait is that debris up there? Um, it is. Let's go. Nice. For your kitchen, what are you doing uh, while it is being renoed? Like how are you uh, how are you fooding and stuff? Uh, so they actually sectioned off this little like part in my dining room where they pretty much just threw down the fridge range and my dishwasher. Like they uh, just don't... relocated the machinery. Pretty much, yeah. Huh. The fridge is good. I haven't checked. The range is currently facing the wall, <laughs> and the dishwasher looks like I really should not. There's no water line to it, so I don't think huh. the dishwasher is going to work. <laughs> uh, but it, I at least have a refrigerator, and I can plug in my microwave, too, so... Did they, like, wire out a 220 over there? Uh, it was basically on the other side of the wall. So okay, they didn't need to, which was nice. 
Okay. Are you going to... Yeah, I wasn't sure if I was going to have, like, any, you know, like, a working fridge at all over the next couple of months, but... At you least always have buy, that, like, a mini like, fridge. Uh, mini fridges that actually refrigerate at the temperature they're supposed to, I feel like... Really? Kara has a freezer in her office for rats, and I assume it's working, otherwise the rats would probably be pretty stinky. I mean, they exist, but it mini fridges like are very frequently like I find disappointing. Like the the several that I've had, I've just always been like, oh, I wish this would work a little better. Huh? But yeah. maybe maybe that maybe just, mini freezers is the way to go then. Yeah, I mean it's it's easy for them to run a freezer than it is a fridge because the fridge has to keep uh, a certain temperature where the freezer could be like just go oh, lower. Got it. You know. Um. But. Anyway, I'm sure that I'm sure that someone out there's like, oh, I have a perfect one and it's the best one ever, and there's no problems at all, and, and that's probably true. It's like, yeah, it's like cool. Okay, give it to me. <laughs> okay, I think I got my debris. This is actually like pretty efficient. I'm gonna be honest with you. We appreciate the honesty. Yeah, there we go. Twelve of them. Huge plays. Are you um in a place where the contractors can hear you doing streams and stuff uh, while they're working? I'm sure they can, yeah. Does that make you self-conscious at all? No, not really. Okay. You are a braver man than I. Just doing the job, man. you get man. nervous that Just the people working. who are working at your home hearing you working? Yeah. Commentating and all that? Mm. What are they going to think nervous. if they hear me it's working? Just, it's just self con Well, it's just like, what are they? why are they yelling at the computer? <laughs> I'm always like, I... <laughs> whenever, um... Whenever, you know, I'm, I'm not going to be available uh, to be able to look at anything that comes up, I'm always like, I'm going to be on a phone call because I just don't want to explain what I'm actually doing. <laughs> why even explain anything? Just be like... If you need me, here I am, and, and they can do their thing and you do your thing. No, but if I am if I need to say why I'm not going to be available to, to talk with them. I just, I just don't think you do. Like, what do you mean? If you need me, I'll be in here. No, or, but I, I but don't. I, want but them the to need problem him. is I'm, I'm like in the middle of something. I'm trying to not be pulled away. Oh, then yeah, I'd be like, I'm going to be I'm going to be busy. Uh, so probably not available. Yeah, but they're like, oh, you're going to be unavailable, but you're home. So anyway, I just feel like it's easiest to say I'm going to be on a phone call. And then anyway, social anxiety, man, it gets you. And then and then that makes sense. Why is he? Why do I hear? His, oh, he's on a phone call. That's a heated phone call right there. Lots of yelling. If they heard the first 10 minutes of this session, I think they'd be like, whoa. <laughs> this is not supposed to be. Nothing's working right! Oh, Alright, hey. triple netherite action. And then just think, once we are done with this magic chapter, we will be full auto on netherite, which will be very cool. That didn't do anything. Son of a nut nut. Do we not have any diamonds? Oh, good. We have a block of diamonds. That's exciting. We're kind of low on diamonds. I'm not going to lie. And I'm about to make us lower. Well, good. <laughs> it was on before. Why is it not on now? That's the question I have. Um, make the crystallizer. Okay, so Schmite 5, did we, do we have any villagers that are in, uh, cyclable mode? You might have one at Sparktropolis. Oh, Sparktropolis probably has some, yeah. Uh, I hate that I'm asking this. Is there any way to force an entity into a crushing wheel? A conveyor belt? Uh, conveyor belt. An entity? An I mean, entity. If you stand on the I, conveyor belt, you get forced in, right? It just is a loose item. 
I don't uh, want to call what? my amethyst skull on the loose item scene. <laughs> oh, that's, you want to force him on? That does does he just sit there and get grilled, or does he get killed? He's a little resilient. Grilled or killed? <laughs> she grilled. Drilled or killed? Uh, grilled, drilled or killed? Play we have a bad. wide wide okay, range of options. The crystallizer? What is the crystallizer? Huh. I've already I mean, made a crystallizer. You, oh, okay. You can you can hold them in with blocks and stuff like that, but I don't know why the he's not taking damage other than it kinda of looks like the wheels are moving in the wrong direction, but I don't think they are. Oh, good. No, no, I, I, I it mangled my leg. I'm sure you can figure it out. Maybe I don't. He stays alive. Yeah. Save him. Save the amethyst golem. Do we not have any Two survivors twice. at Sparktropolis? We might not. Uh -oh. Most of them might have been converted. Oh. Yeah, no, there's no survivors in Sparktropolis. There huh. will be no survivors. Wow. That's unexpected. I haven't been here in a while. I guess I've neglected Sparktropolis a bit, so that's my apologies wow. to the citizens. Wow. Um, oh, okay, this librarian hasn't, uh, hasn't had anything locked in, so you know what? Smite 5 is... Happening for you. Okay. Mm. Right. Uh. What is wrong with you? God, there's so many things. Mans does... This is why Zing... Oh, Zing, did you have a villager who would not cycle? I haven't played with villager cycling. Oh, okay, because somebody just said in chat, this is why you gave up, and I'm having problems with this dude, so I didn't know if he was a... He was known to be busted. Uh, I haven't played with villager cycling, so this is definitely why I gave up, and they're definitely speaking with accuracy. Hey, Pete? Yeah? Any oh, ideas why... You... Oh. Any ideas why this guy is uh, being not cooperative? What are you trying to do? Just break the lectern and have him change out new traits? Mm-hmm. Is he not accepting the job, or nope, won't get the job. He's Ain't another. The job he was. He was a. He was a librarian. Um. Then I broke the lecterns. He became not a librarian. He's unemployed now, and I put down a lectern, and he's uh, not interested. Uh, there are no other villagers who can path it. Is he trying to path to another block somewhere else? I don't else? know how he would because there are. Trap doors above, but um, mm, I guess he can try to path through the trap doors, but still, uh, he's being at what would he be trying to even path to here? I don't even know what other profession blocks there are nearby. Have you tried asking him? Yeah, use the villager query tool. I feel like there's a lack of communication that's happening here. You'd just be like, hey, why, why don't you want the job, man? I really don't want to I'm let not him being out. Very helpful. I don't know. You don't want Are there any other villagers in that one? Or is he the only one? He is the only one. Okay, maybe if I do that, will that cause you to stick to this one? Oh, he's just a, he is an uncooperative fellow. I have fully blocked his ability to path anywhere else, and he will 
not do anything. Jeez. This guy. There, oh here. my god, he went. Oh my god, he went. For some reason, I don't know why. He, Maybe it takes some patience. He's decided to cooperate. What a legend. I hate it when they need patience. There we go. Okay, so somebody came up with a suggestion, which is a tinker's tool with max smite attributes on it. Is that... Can that go as good as smite 5? Any Not ideas, sure. Zine, since you have done a lot of tinkies? Uh, I haven't compared against Smite 5, and also I'm mad at tinkies, so... You're mad at tinkies? <laughs> what did it do? <laughs> I don't want to talk about it, but I just want to say that I spent a lot of time making a bow, and I'm using a vanilla bow. <laughs> right, no bow of balance happening here, right, right, right. <laughs> 0.3% accuracy? Are you kidding me? Wait, what does that mean? It means that I tried to shoot anything and it wouldn't hit it. <laughs> like, you just pointed at it and it goes the other way? 100%. 100%. Can it fly backwards? No. Okay, that'd be kind of funny, though, if it occasionally just hits you. Yeah. <laughs> it really would be that. I'm uh I'm sorry that your friendship with Tinkies has ended. Oh yeah, no, it's over. Okay. It's dead to me. I'm not a factor and that's fine. Wait, what what was this about Pam's? Hey guys, can you take a look at the recipe for Netherrack? Netherrack? I hear Netherrack is crazy to generate. Yeah. Why did they do this? There's holy about sweet it Jiminy uh, Christmas, which is kind of funny if you think about how much netherrack I've dumped in uh, out of Bertha, but um, I think that it has specific things and needs. Oh uh, my God! And functions in later portions. Uh. Yeah, Jordan, I think we found a use for uh, all those excess souls that you need. Because Netherrack takes that whole recipe sequence and then it's an even bigger job to make the ancient plating slops. That's actually... He doesn't want to talk what about it. the heck? Wait, this is cr Does this get used at some point? That can't, that can't be something that has to get used. It's giving you the silent treatment. That cannot be. Okay, I'm sure he's... Neck deep very, gold trading. I, oh I god, I was like responding. I didn't uh, realize I was I muted. Mean, oh my god, I'm like, holy frick. I just got out of 20 Bane 5 too, but it's not here. Smite 5. Uh, yeah, I was saying that's insane. Uh, please tell me that we don't actually have to utilize that. Oh, I'm sure we do. Why would we have to utilize I'm sure it's that? It's an Easter egg that we don't need. God, I hope it's an Easter egg that we don't need and it's not Chekhov's gun. I don't even know what Chekhov's gun is, but. I bet we need it. Poor Chekhov. Poor Chekhov. Don't worry, the gun isn't forgotten. What gun? I forgot. Oh my god. Frick this! I give up! I give up! I'm gonna cycle between episodes and for now I'm just gonna put Smite 5 on one of the swords and then I'll do the others later. God! Ask me to do it. Ask me to do it. You wanna, you wanna cycle Smite 5? Don't. Let him get away with doing it. You want to cycle Nothing Smite 5, I'd Pete? like more. You want yeah, to cycle? I do, Jordan. Okay. Don't, okay. Don't. If you really want to do this to yourself, then 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 go for it. Where's he's the villager? Give me the cords. He's No, he's over at the place that you think he is. He's trying That's to get out of having to do create stuff. You're, you're enabling no, I'm him actually, to avoid I'm, learning. No, I'm enjoying the create stuff that I'm doing, but I'll still oh. stop what I'm doing to go do this. Oh, and Sparkles is happy to exploit you that way, I see. What? I offered myself to him. I didn't even it. ask Pete to take over. Okay, Pete just offered to take over. How and dare he you? Agreed. Well, yeah, because I was gonna, I was gonna do it in between but... episodes. Oh my goodness gracious! Oh my god! Okay. All right. 
Pete, you do not have to do this. You do not have to do this. You don't have to do this, man. You don't have to do this. Choose life. That's gonna murder me. I'm gonna get murked. Wait, so with the pump, do I literally just like put the open part of the pump above the water or in yep. the water or? Yep. It yeah. Just adds basically, up against a source block of the. Uh. And they it's can do silly. That um, I've got several examples if you want to see one, but yeah, you got it. I'm hoping to make my own example right now. Okay. Witherproof glass is real wonky uh, in its display, and it's upsetting. Are you upset right now? Ow. Very. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Oh, I'm gonna get oh not again. Gonna not, not this again. Okay, guys, so um, now that we have decided to say frick it, let me show you what we are doing. So, top row, boom, boom, boom. That's the skulls. Soul sand, boom, boom, boom. Soul sand, boom, cool. Then we have another row of deployers below it. These are the swords. That's where they, the wither is gonna drop down, and then this ensures that at least one of the swords is gonna do punchy poo, because usually the wither go one side or the other. So, so if we smite so five it. one of the two edges, one, you know, 50-50 chance we're gonna get some smite five hits in, which will be good. The middle one is kind of just there to exist, um, which is very great and nice. So we gotta put these into punchy poo. Uh, we also need to do some Does other stuff here, touch. which is some, we need smart observers. I, um, here. I do have a silk touch pick if you need it. I could use a grass block in the system at some point if someone's willing, but otherwise... A grass okay. block? It is Wait, we have 193. Kit. You need more? Uh, no. If we have if we have 193, oh. then that's the 193 that I need. Okay, cool. Then where's the example that you were talking about? Come on over to the one chunk, my friend. Oh, good. Hello. Hey. Um, it's right here. You can kind of see the... Oh, yeah, okay. Uh... Oh, so it is how it... Hmm. I do need a nether star to seed these with their filter. Mine looks to be the same, but I know um, that's But we'll do that after not. we summon our first wither, I suppose. There's In the, the meantime, ambus? I can work on other water. things. Yeah, just mm. So the, the, the tricky part of... Uh, uh, actually, you know what? Underneath oh, the see. crystallizer. Mechanical arms uh, is going to be the way to do this. Mechanical arms, hundred percent, going to be the way to two mechanical arms, one feeding right. skulls, and one feeding, uh, yeah, yeah, one feeding skulls and one feeding. End. You're pumping the right, bottom, but something in right, the right, right. That's going to be the way. Walking. That's going to be the way. There's three pipes. Um, just not take water. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's going to be the way. Uh, okay. you need to configure it. So. This um, configuration. Oh, ah, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got it. So that's all. Got it. Yep. And, oh, we got yeah, two Yeah, I'd like of to them. break there the pipe nice. just in case something along the line is the problem. As evidenced by that. By that. Yeah, the wither stays still, but it varies which side he goes to. Um, and the middle one may have to do one hit before he goes. I don't know. It is there were three, but again, I'm gonna put oh, the smite right. five that I have on one Thanks of the sides because it'll at least guarantee that that you know some of the time it'll guarantee that some of the time he's getting smite vived. So all right, we need the smart shoots. We also we have a drawer. Um, I'm gonna do a hopper. We need a comparator here, and um, it was actually you know it was really my initial design uh, worked out of the gate, which I was happy about. I just didn't know if the wither would stay contained in a glass setup like that, and it does, um, which is cool. So uh, do we have a redstone? We need some redstone, and then we need sequenced gear shifts here as well, um, which I will show you why after we are getting them going. 
Oh, oh, holy freak! We got a lot of sequence Die. gear shifts. I might even do. Might even do three, so that I can asynchronously do things. Uh, perhaps. So, the reason why I am doing this is because I don't want 50 withers to spawn at once. I just want it to be one at a time. I think it's going to be cleaner. Also, the Hephaestus Forge is slow. We don't need it to be going super fast since that's probably going to be our limiting thing. So why I'm doing sequence gear shifts is because every time a nether star is dropped, it's going to feed through a hopper. Comparator is going to read it. It's going to set off the sequence gear shifts allow the deployers to or do another run. Jordan? What was that? Or is the villager? Uh, he's over at our standard villager area, slightly to the east of our green area. Oh, okay. Hopefully he hasn't fatigued on cycling his profession now that I haven't been cycling him for a bit. Um, okay, so that should be good there. Don't need all that. So, yeah, the reason why it's I just it's super dumb that the deployers sync back up. Why would they sync up if they're if they're desynced? Why would they resync when they're only supposed to do one rot Oh, it's just frustrating. But anyway, all right, that should be good there. That should be good. We have all the Okay, so this might be good. It's really annoying. It's really No, I'm going to be using mechanical arms. I still have to do I still have to do the uh the the gear shift sequence gear shift thing so look sequence gear shift is gonna go here there's gonna be one there what i could do if i wanted in order to add another element of of desynchronization is i could take like this one and i could instead uh like place it you know differently like here it balls that's it not what i wanted to do i don't want to do that clear you um, I could place it like uh, uh, I watched the Barbie movie for the first time. The another way? Uh, no. Yesterday, frick. knowing nothing about it. It was good, right? It was. I. I like. I said. I, I want went in this nothing about to be it, on top. So it was not at all what I expected. Uh, is it that? There I we go. Know what I, I, I could do I, that. I didn't know what to expect, but it, whatever I expected wasn't that. But it was. It was. Decent. Okay. Like I, I have unhappy. not seen it, so you needn't spoil anything at the moment. I, I wasn't planning on spoiling, but I. I wasn't un, unhappy with it, and it was interesting. Um, cool. But it. It, it was just wasn't not what I expected. Was it, I I was under the impression it's a bit of a like, it's got some dark elements to it. Is that correct or incorrect? Yeah, the overarching theme of the movie yeah, is serious. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I, I think that, that you can you can make that argument. Although I would, I would say that it is, I, at the same time, like I would say it's a pretty generally lighthearted movie. Like it's not, there, there's there's certainly heavier themes that it kind of touches on a little bit, but it does it in a very very playful, light way. If that makes any sense. There's a lot of pink involved with the dark elements. Okay. Frick. I uh, I'll watch it sometime. You know, sometime. Guys, yeah, I just had a revolutionary idea. I just had a huge freaking, huge idea. Huge idea. Okay, what are we getting more of? I think we are getting oh. more wither skeleton skulls than we are soul That's sand. Right. So, what we do is I'm going to make it so that... Hey, Jordan, I got smite. Oh. You are legendary. Uh, uh smite five? Yep. How much? 15. What? No, no, 15. Okay, 35. Oh, well, was... for me. Oh, he likes you. He does like me, yeah. Like Had I known he likes you, I would have kept the spike three. Oh, okay, thank you. That's pretty, it's pretty awesome. I already put four smite four book, smite five books in the machine. Thank you. Here. Pete Luck. Out freaking time. Yeah. Thank goodness. That's so exciting. Woo! God. 
I mean, the villager does like you, obviously. He's giving you good deals and stuff. So. I guess so. He likes Man. me, but does he like me, like me? Also, I just figured out. I just figured out a way to asynchronize things, which is so cool. That's Huge. so very cool. What are you asyncing? So I'm basically going to make it so that um, it's always placing... Uh, because I was I was basically locking. I was gonna lock it so the deployers would only deploy the next wither once one wither had had died by reading the Nether Star. But instead, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have it so that it's always placing either the Soul Sand or the Skulls. I can't. I don't know which. Um, and that way, it'll it'll be like kind of ready to rock and roll. Um, and it won't. Nothing will be placed down all synchronized at the same time, right? Sure. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, 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 cool. Cool. Uh, Kara, thank you for raiding. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Minecraft Engineering. You know, I'll just, it's going to be easiest if it's on the top because I don't know the way they're getting stuck in the soul sand. Um, so, yeah, that's how we'll do it. That's how we'll do it. So, we'll have it so that, um, wait, so we want it so that the, uh, wait, if this all, okay, so the skulls are always going to be placing, and then we will lock the, bottom will lock the bottom to a gear shift that'll be the way that'll be the way so the soul sand will only place down once the uh next okay but what would happen if what would happen if it ran out of soul sand then it would get stuck would be the only problem Hello, Kara. Thank you for Wade. It's so cool. Um. Well, let's just give. Let's just. We'll just try it this way to begin with and see how it goes. You know? So we have that locked to alive. the. It is going to go through Shell Sand quicker, too. I'm just worried that if I summon the Wither. And the soul sand places immediately after that it might like clog things. All right, let's just see how this goes. So do that. We have the gear shift in there. Um, and then all we need is you. And then you will be out to here. We always want that to be going. Honestly, a uh, rotation speed controller might be good so we can optimize the speed on the... Uh, yeah, we want to optimize the speed so it's maxed out on the swords, probably. So rotation speed controller will be good here. And then for everything else, uh, we could have it for the top one to also be... Um, let's see. Oh, yeah, so we do this. Bam, bam. That'll be good. So that'll always be running. The top, the skulls will always place down. This will only run when we get the redstone signal in. How are you guys looking? Pretty all right. I'm okay. I, um, I'm just wanting to see if I can get this thing moving before everything is done with. Moving and grooving. Mm-hmm. So I think I can do like take item. Oh no no no! I gotta provide it to the wheels from behind them, or does it just shoot what? above them? Uh, I've only ever used. Uh, if I moved this up, okay. I could just have it take from there. Oh no, it's got to be a depot. I should just. I should just move this up, and it'll. It, will it reach? Will it reach? If I just moved this up. Um. Let's see. I think the I don't remember what the range is, but I'm hoping if I just up this a little bit, that it will be good. 
So maybe like, maybe like that, and then it's gotta go into a depot, yeah? Do that, so that the soul sand can be below it. Okay, fingers crossed this doesn't mess everything up. Will this still work? Does it still get it? Does it still get? How did you get? No, don't go in there. Oh my god, how did he do that? What a ding dong. Okay, I just need to make sure skulls go over him. Skulls go over him. I think skulls still go over him. I need to. Oh, skulls don't go over him. Skulls don't go over him. They're not getting picked up. God dang it, dude. It's gotta be lower, it's out of range. Um, I've gotta like, <sighs> gotta take this as far, uh, I just wanna, maybe I can do, like right here it'll work, maybe. I don't, I think pedestals. <laughs> Have to be on top. I don't think you can put it on the side. Tell me that you will be good. I guess I could have just belted it up. You know what? Honestly, whatever. I'll just do a little belt coming out of here and uh, bring it up to a depot. That'll be easier, honestly. Do that. <laughs> My alliums! Oh, frick. Oh god, wait, what the frick? Do I have a magnet? Do I have my magnet on? I don't! Why am I getting... Why am I being given all these things? Huh? I literally don't have them... What is going on? What is going on? Oh, it's because I have the coin of fortune in my inventory. It works like a magnet. I did not realize. Oops, okay. I have figured out the problem. Okay, so if I were to push this onto a belt, it goes up, like so, to a depot. That's too steep -o. Oh wait, no, that's actually, it was proper. Oops. Um, no, so we'd only want it to be two, and then a depot up here, right? And then, uh, let's see. Do that. Uh, will this? <laughs> Will the mechanical arm be able to reach from there? If I put a push upgrade into there, will the mechanical arm be able to reach a depot there? And, um, let's see. I'm going to get this working, I swear. I did that, and then I did the mechanical arm here. No, the pro the reason why I don't want to do a belt is because I want it to be uniform in uh, entry into each of these. So let's see, if I were to take from there and then go, will that work? Hopefully that can reach. Okay, and then I need another one to do soul sand into here. So hopefully, if I just do another one underneath, like right around here, I can do, um, I'm gonna need another drawer for soul sand.
Do I have any shoots? Ah, oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Um, put the mechanical arm on the side facing the deployers? What do you mean? What is the meaning of this? Also, I should just open up some inventory space by doing that. And doing that. Doing that. Very good. Um... Uh, oh, can you put mechanical arms sideways on blocks? No. It's either, uh, up or down, I would assume. Okay, so I need to have a big stack here. This is gonna be kind of annoying, but, um... It's gonna be the same thing that I have over there, I guess. It's gonna be the way. Alright, so we'll have you there. And then we will do... That... Drawer, funnel, uh, shoot, and then this is fine. This is fine. Actually, I can just do this. Okay, cool. All right, so now we have a soul sand there. So now hopefully we can get the other arm to, um, if we just have it lined up in the same thing, we can just have one shaft vertically. Uh, so can we have it take from there and then face there? Yeah, I hope, maybe, fingers crossed. Okay, that would be good, that would be good. And then everything would be working. Oh, how exciting. Okay, so that should be loading things up, which we can actually just get it going. Um, hold on, let me also do this. We're gonna turn 360 degrees, check. Good to go there. Um, all right. And then we're gonna need cog. And cog. Okay, and then something feeding in rotation over there. Sorry, it's a uh, big engineering that needs to be happening at the moment. Do I do that? Uh, oh. Wait a minute. Actually, yes, this is probably the. Is this going to work or is this going to be wrong direction? It's wrong direction, that's good. That's very good. I had a feeling that might be a problem. Um, okay, what is what is plan indeed? Oh, you know what? We put the belt there and, uh, uh, yes. Wait, that is... Did that actually work? Did that actually work? That might actually work. Can I do that? And that. Oh, no, that is not going to work. I can't think that's going to work at all. Damn it. Gosh dang it. Wait. Uh, yeah. Wait, actually, wait, wait, wait. No, that might work if I have a push upgrade on there. It's the same, I think. So, you know, it might be fine. And now if I do a push upgrade, will it... Let's just find out. I've got a pusher in here. And it's going to push south. Yeah, there we go. It does work. Woohoo! Ain't no need for chain drives when we already have something working. Let's go, let's go. All right. Then instead, 
can take this over to here. Bring that. That. And that. And now, let's see if this starts inputting where it needs to. Let's go! Let's go! He's getting loaded up! Oh my god, look at it, look at it, look at it, yes! Okay, this is good. Now, I can get the swords... Oh yeah, we need to do a rotation speed controller for the swords. Come on, come on, it's getting closer. Okay, so, or sorry, rotation speed controller. Do I have any of those? Nope. But I can make one! I would just really like to be able to get this. If I can get this thing like mostly going, it's not going to be perfect because I, or I'm going to have to do some manual fixes on it for sure. But if we can get it close, it'll be very cool. Okay, there we go. Rotation speed controller. How's everybody's uh, time going? Doing all right. Cool, cool. Sorry, this is I'm not like a potato farm. Heck yeah. Sorry, this is not me being like, hey, we should, we should, you know, finish because in fact I'm still trying to get things rolling myself, you know. And we but. could finish if you want. No, I don't. I don't actually want to. I want. I wanna. I wanna have this going good. Okay. Are you wanting to finish, Pete? Are you needing to go? No. No. I'm good. I've got plenty of stuff that I'm doing, too. Might have to set up a splitting system, depending on how this goes. Getting fancy. I like it. Whoa, why you do that? Oh, why right, because that's, uh, it's doubling the speed. That's true. Didn't think about that one. <laughs> Did you oopsie? Okay, cool. Okay, okay. Let's go, let's go. I'm just setting it to that in the meantime. I'm gonna have to set that to be a nether star. Uh, eventually, but for now that works. Um, so what's gonna? So basically, because deployers are really stupid, they will even though the Nether Star should drop on the ground, 100% every single time one of these will grab the Nether Star. It'll be like what was happening over there where they get overloaded. Um, or no, sorry, over here when I had the sword deployer and I was like, what the frick? It's getting clogged. Um, so what you do is you put a smart shoot underneath and you tell it just to take out the thing that it gets clogged with. Um, and then we have a drop on the ground, and then it's going to get picked up by another pedestal and coin of fortune on the other side. And then we're going to read out of that. Um, and when the when we know a new Nether Star came in, then at that point we will uh, allow the Soul Sand deployers to go, and then the Wither should spawn. So that is the ideal hope. Let me go get the pedestal and coin of fortune. Oh no, we're out of diamond! Oh god, I've got to go and uh, get the diamond. This is most unfortunate. Hmm. Do you have any, like, good sources of diamonds in any places? Nope. Just another digging. Nope. 
Wait, nether digging for or diamonds? Or not, ne not nether digging. Uh, there's a cave that I've birthed out by Pete's area, but I don't think you want to go there. Okay, I will not go there if I don't want to go there. <laughs> but that's all I have. Got it. Hmm. Yeah, I've uh, I've definitely gone through quite a few of the diamonds in the accessible places uh, nearby us. Mm. Time to get lost underground. You... <gasps> There's diamonds! I found them! Yay! That's so cool. But you replaced the ones you used, right? Huh? Uh, what ones? Uh, what ones are we talking about? The ones you used from the system. Um. Yep. Mm -hmm. God. Thought that they were uh, communal diamonds. Oh. Oh. Are they not a? Yeah. Uh, Things are, things are communal until they're spookles only. <laughs> what? I have never spookles only to the ME system. I have only spookles only my cogs. Uh, the times. I have only spookles only my cogs, okay? Mm hmm. Cause, cause I, my machines are delicate. As are you. I am. Thank you for acknowledging. I actually missed diamonds. Oh, oops. Now is when you go back and you 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 look, but you say if you're if, uh, if I didn't and you're just trolling, then you're banned, and then they don't do that too much anymore. Hmm, that's a good idea. It's my policy. I will Miss go back and look, but you are banned if you are wrong. <laughs> Have you had anybody go, uh, just kidding. I, I don't think you missed them. I, I've had, I, I think I thought I saw some. <laughs> I could be wrong. Perhaps I've made a mistake. How did, what did, where did, oh. Oh. Well, that's awesome. Okay, guys, so this is about to look really dumb and, and overly complicated with too much stuff, but there is a reason for doing it, and that is because I want to read uh, a hopper out of a comparator. Um, so this is going to be the final destination, for now, for the stars. This is where we are going to read out with a comparator. I'm hoping this will still be in proximity enough. Uh, then on top of that, we are going to have another chest, or another drawer, because in order for the coin to work properly, it's got to be a locked drawer. And then we're going to have the pedestal on top, I can fix this guy. and then the coin on top of that, which I forgot to get the freaking coinage. Oh, boy. It's okay, we can make another one. How brilliantly nice. Now, if this ends up needing to be okay. relocated downwards, it's totally cool. I'm just seeing if this will work B for now. And oh, God. Uh, okay, so backpack there we go. is at times uncomfortably close to control B for narrator. Just saying. Narrator. All right. There's narrates been all. So now. Narrator. Narrates all. What we do, which is going to be I so don't want cool, you to. Is we're going to do this. And then we comparate, Balls. right? We comparate, boom. And then what we're gonna do is get our red, I need to get a repeater, which I kind of fricked up, but there we go. Let me go get a repeater. Why not belt the nether star? I have good reasons for not putting a belt at the bottom of the wither kaboom shaft. And that would be due to the wither kaboom in the shaft. Okay, so what should happen is the nether star gets picked up by the coin. Um, 
thrown down here, thus, anyway. Um, what I can do for now, though, is I can just initiate it with any old item. So, um, and then it should spin these two, one rotation, initiating a wither. And then the swords should... The one thing is, is it's going to clog up, um, because... Uh, it might be slightly out of range. That's the. It might be a little bit out of range because the Nether Star is going to get picked up by this and dropped here. That might be too far. Uh, I might need to. Uh, I'm gonna. Have to, yeah, I'm gonna have to bring it down. God dang it! I'm gonna have to bring it down. That is really annoying. Still need to find some nice melons. Hmm. Does it have to be the skulls? Can the soul sand not... Does it have to be the skulls that are placed down? That's annoying. That's very annoying. Ash very annoyance. So do I have to switch this? I may have to switch this. No, the, the skulls do not need to be on the soul sand. Um, they can be... They can be on the glass. It works fine. Um... Okay, I guess instead we will do this. Um, 360, and we can do it this way instead. It all works out in the end regardless. Oh, balls. Okay, so that'll be fine. All good there. But yeah, let me bring this down a bit real quick. I am thinking... Coin of Fortune probably up against the glass with the pedestal. Here... Here would be the safest bet, I would say. Could do this though. Save a verticality. Do that. Do that. Boom. Cool. Nether star will be there. Yeah, we're totally gonna belt it out. Um, turn that on. And then do you and you. I could also redstone link it. Let's just redstone link it. That'll be prettier. I shall go do that. Here's where, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, I, I think I, I just got it inverted, and you do need the skulls to be placed last. So, this should be fine. I was only concerned about, like, one running out first versus the other, but I don't think it really matters that much at the end of the day. So, um, we'll make this sequenced gear shift there. And then, um, I'm going to just put it on top. And do that. Sequence gear shift. Boom. And then that should work, I believe. So now, and then on, boom. Then I'll have to manually set this off, but that should be fine. <gasps> oh, great. <laughs> Didn't realize I should have, I have silk touch on my unbreaking. I should have done that. I am smart. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wonder see. Wonder see. That's so true. So true. Mm. 
Okay. All right, this should mostly work, but we do need to get this filtered. Um, so one of these is gonna clog, and uh, it's gonna be annoying. But anyway, okay, so there's that. Um. Oh, right, because you did that and you sent it in there. I need to turn the coin off. You fool. Mmm, you don't mind if I grab that, do you? There we go. Dude, he gets wrecked. He gets just ultra wrecked. Look at him, look at his, look at his health bar going down, and then he's done. All right, now, which one is clogged? Uh, the middle one, huh? How unexpected, the middle one got clogged. Um, all right, so hold on, we just can undo that, take both out, get the nether star, boom, 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 and then put you back in. Perfect. You might lose some good soul sand in the process with the explosion, but eh, it is what it is. It is what it is. Um, okay, so that's good there. I honestly think that we may now be good to go. Okay, check it. So let me put that in there. How much soul sand have we got? 1.6K. Nice. Very nice. All right. So... Um, last but not least, I now going to break that, and I am going to put you in there, and I am going to lock you, lock you, and then put you in there, and lock you, and then, finally, we reattach... If I had already Wither Stars here, or Nether Stars, it would have made this process faster. Um, but, none of the skulls are placed down, and get ready, here we go. Yeah, 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 come on, and then watch, 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 watch. Get ready, get ready, get ready, here it goes, here it goes. Dropping spares. All right. Wait for it. Wait for it. Where are you guys at? I am hoping that I have done what needed to be done. Two. Makes sense. I probably just gonna take a while, but come yeah. on, come on, come on, come on! Oh, Okay. Did what need be done be done? It actually, it actually, yes, it did. Um, with one minor, minor tweak that I can do, which is to pick up these soul sand blocks and recycle them. Wait, what? Well, recycling's good. Why didn't it? Did it do the- wait, what happened? Why no do the thing? God dang it! Why did it stop? As long as you're not leaving entities everywhere, then everything's fine. Yeah, that's the one thing I need to fix, is the entities being left. Um, why did it do that? Why did it do that? Do I need to make it go to 361? Like, turn by angle, like, 361? Not another water flow. Or something, like, I don't know. This is- it's so weird. Okay, if I do this, I go- now it, now it works. I thought, why did it do that? I don't know why it does that sometimes. I don't, see, sometimes it's wonky as heck. Now you're speaking like a real person. Yeah, it's just sometimes they do be 
wonky for some reason. There, see, yeah, that do that do correctly. Oh, I see the issue. I think I know what's happening. It's getting placed before the soul sand goes down. Yeah, that's probably what it is. That's probably what it is. That's how we fix this. Yeah. Because if that happens before the soul sand, then the, the yeah, that's what it is. Okay, so I just need to grab my repeater. Where's my my repeater is already in my inventory. God dang it. Yeah, I'm gonna do. Oh, you're right. Let me do it out of the comparator for sure. Not not the other way around. That's a way better way to do it. That's way better. That's a prettier way to do it. So it's already on the ground instead of doing the other stuff. So we do that. Can remove that step there. Set it to end checkbox, and then boom, bring that back. Cool, and then set it to receive again. Okay. Repeater out of here. Put it on a just an extra delay. There. Boom. I always got to do a little troubleshoot skis. Um, and now, oh God, we need to make another coin to, to recycle the blown up soul scent. Um, here goes the rest of our diamonds. I just want to say I will uh, try to get some diamonds in between episodes um, in order to make up for my transgressions that I have uh, committed <laughs> today. Um, I do greatly apologize for any wrongdoings I may have caused. Yeah, yeah, it's all right. We'll we'll uh, we'll work it out. You know. Cool. Thank you. Figure out ways to square it. And all right. Well, you ready for the end? Almost. I just I want to show you guys something, and I would show it to you right now, but the problem is I think that Papa Zine might be a little less than thrilled by uh, some entities on the ground, and so I'm really wanting to make Zine, Papa Zine proud uh, and not have the entities on the ground ground um but i don't like it's gonna just take a moment to to do that uh uh if that's uh, okay um you know just give me give me one moment here just just one second so that i can save the day so that Papa Zine is not mad at me. You're you're looking, you're you're not supposed to be looking yet because it's there's still entities on the ground and I don't want there to be entities on the ground. Yeah, take um, your time, man. We're almost we're almost there. Okay. Great. Now there shan't be entities on the ground any longer and um Yes. That'll be that'll be that'll that'll do. I'll make the belts connect and add rotation later, but for now, uh if anyone would be interested in seeing what is at hand, um feel free to come on up. Sure. What you got? Uh, so we have our automated uh, wither killer, which is so exciting. So um, I can initiate it real quick by just chucking. So let's say that we just killed a wither here. And uh, wowee, that's so cool. It drops the nether star. Now a new one gets created. And this is all the hardened glass, which is wither proof. And so kaboom. And now we've got all those Smite 5 swords that you help facilitate down there in the deployers getting punchy punchy. And then at the end, uh, what happens is that the deployer with the sword picks it up, it clogs itself, but then I have the uh, smart observers at the bottom 
that pull it out, unclog the deployer, just drop it on the ground, and then it gets picked up from the ground by the pedestal over here, feeds into the hopper, the hopper uh, is read by the comparator, which tells the top row of skulls to deploy, and uh, creates a new one. Now, there's nice. a chance we run into problems if and when we run out of uh, soul sand or wither skeleton skulls and it fires and doesn't spawn a wither. Um, but at that point, hopefully it will have gone through quite a few because we have a nice backlog of all the resources anyway. Ooh, right on. This yeah. is a really cool machine. I am glad that you I've like been, it. I've been fighting the, uh, lots of nethers on, er, withers on my own, so I'm glad to not have to do that anymore. Yeah. The and then the next step. Also bug out for you guys there. Oh yeah, the glass is awful. Okay. <laughs> it's actually looking fine for me, but it does not look very fine for me. And then it did an idiot. Why did it do an idiot? Um. Definitely pull the star. Do I need more of a delay here? I might. Do I need even more of a delay? Does does this does this cobble do anything? No, it doesn't. I, it was initially going to be doing something, but then it doesn't do anything. So yeah, you're fine. Um, why is it? Uh, it just has some stupid thing. So um, maybe if I add another repeater and I just delay it so that it ensures the soul sand is placed before the skulls go. Um, I'm gonna add another little bit of delay just in case. God dang. It what do you is think of a. Scene? I think it's great. I think so what too. Did... What did I do wrong? I literally didn't say you did anything. Oh, wrong. okay. I, I didn't. Great. I I never know if it's like you know a little little trying to hold your tongue or or if you actually think it's if you're actually proud of me, Papa. Of course, I'm proud of you. You're doing great. Okay, cool. That's awesome. Uh, Thank you. Okay, so I'll try that again. Hopefully, hopefully, just added delay will fix everything. Um, I could while we're anyway. I mean, you you see the you see the basic concept now. So, um, Ooh, yeah. yeah. Anything well, you guys want to show? Right on. Uh. I mean, I got my cave that's progressed a little bit. Could show you, it's not too much, but. Are you uh, cycling golems? No, actually, no. The golem uh, is doing more important work than dying over and over again. <laughs> that's so, so nice. So all the budding amethyst in the wall here was created by him in the last two days. Okay. And wow, that's really yeah. Cool he, he just accelerates that. that process a ton. So what I'm doing is just having every amethyst or a uh, large amethyst that would come out. Because he breaks them automatically, but he doesn't pick oh. them up. The crystals just drop on the ground. Okay. So I just have the crystals going into the crystallizer, or the shards going in here. And then the shards are just operating slowly, and then routing them over to this oak drawer right here. I need to bring the time in the bottles up here and get the compacting done between the crystals and the time in the bottles. And after that, we'll have the time crystal fragments. Oh, so you don't need the Prometheus the Golem. Nope. Oh. So the Golem just has a job. He gets to oh. be employed and nobody die, nobody kills anybody. Wow. Nobody dies. What's his name? And <laughs> nobody dies. Uh it was Brad. Okay. It was Brad. Wow. You can't forget Brad. Yeah, you can't forget Brad. Look at the big brain on Brad. Yeah, it's not super fast. Uh, I was thinking about setting up something where I could have the shards or the crystals be crushed into shards and do like a recycle so it's a lot of shards constantly and it's not relying on the budding amethyst but i don't think that we need that many i think with this just operating as it is and going constantly while the server's on we should have plenty of yeah i, mean, I don't how many time crystal fragments do we think we need i really Hundreds, thousands probably a th no more than a thousand would be my guess okay hopefully so yeah this should be the fastest production that's needed cool Nice. Yeah. Wow, no Prometheus thing. That's awesome.
and all I did was build a bamboo and a, a potato farm, so I'm I'm good. All you did. You can, you can at least I can see it from here. I'm sure you guys can too. With some of your rendering distances, so you know it's just just more more farms. Agriculture on top, industry on the bottom. You know. Oh, I see. Turn it into a skyblock. I like it. It's the one chunk. So, all right. Well, we want to thank our sponsor for the series, Apex Hosting, providing thorough If you guys would like to play with your friends, be sure to check out the link in our description to save 25% off in your first month. Help support us what we do. Appreciate them for sponsoring. Appreciate you for checking them out. Uh, we do create these live. You can see it's happening. Twitch.tv slash Captain Sparkles and Twitch.tv slash Pizza Hut. Twitch.tv slash Zine. Throw some follows. See all the extra content that uh, doesn't make it into the videos. And uh, yeah, thanks for checking that out. And if you have enjoyed the video, please consider hitting that like button and uh, letting us know in the comments what you enjoyed. If you haven't already, then consider subscribing, sharing with a friend, that sort of thing. Anything for you guys before we go? It's all for me. All good. All right. Bye, guys. Farewell. Later. Quick epilogue here for YouTube. Uh, it turns out the solution, after all, was what I'd already done over there with redstone links and redstone stopping the deployers because deployers will automatically do one full cycle when they are allowed to activate when you remove the redstone signal. So that removes the whole thing where they don't do a full 360 with a sequence gear shit. I thought I was being cool. By using a sequence gear ship. I thought I was being cool. Turns out it was dumb. It was overcomplicating things. And I can just, that turns off, allows them just like over there, and it does one full cycle, and the withers keep going and going and going and going, and we have nothing to worry about. So, uh, would you look at that? Simplicity is key. Okay, great. <laughs>